Hi, thanks so much for watching this video. In this demo, I wanted to share with you how I create such smooth layers in watercolor. What is the key? Does it have to do with the paper? Maybe. Does it have to do with the brushes? Sure. Does it have to do with the paints and the ratios between water and paint? Yes. And also the way you wet the paper. When I wet the paper, I don't do it for a few seconds, but a few minutes. It's important to wet the paper properly before applying the colors wet on wet. The longer you wet the paper, the more time you will have to apply the colors wet on wet. Next is how wet the paper feels. You don't want puddles of water. You want nicely wetted, shiny paper, evenly absorbed water. As far as the colors go and the brushes, I do suggest using a softer brush for color application and also a larger brush. If the size of your object is almost as big as your palm, don't use smaller brushes like round one, two, three, even four or five. Go for a larger brush so you can cover more right away. With smaller brushes, you will leave smaller marks and it will take you longer to cover the areas, which means you can also easily get blooms and hard edges. Next is the ratios between the water and paint. I came up with this terminology of dairy years ago. I've been using this on Patreon since pretty much I started. I call water-like ratio something that feels like water. Then we have milk-like ratio, so it's kind of like milk. And then half and half, so a creamer for your coffee. And then we have heavy cream-like ratio. And then we have the cream top like ratio between water and paint. So once you wet the paper, at first you need to decide on how much control you want to have. Do you want the paint to spread more? If so, start with water to milk like ratio. After you add the initial wash, that's when you want to start grabbing heavier ratios between water and paint. Something that feels like half and half, so a creamer for your coffee, or a heavy cream-like ratio, so the ratio between water and paint. When the paper still looks shiny and you're done with the mid to darkest tones, it's time to work with the cream top-like ratio, so the ratio between water and paint that feels creamy. This is when you want to start grabbing the heaviest ratio and this is for more control, more vibrancy and to create more contrast. If you enjoyed this quick demo and would like to paint this mushroom with me, I'm inviting you to take a full class with me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Maria Morjane. On Patreon, I share real-time recorded classes where I talk while painting, not just voiceovers added to already recorded videos. These are real-time recorded classes. Thank you so much.